One steamy scene turned a minor true detective character into a major fan favorite. It turns out that bearing it all was a boon for this actress's career. White Lotus actress Alexandra Daddario had a small but vital role in season one of HBO's True Detective back in 2014. She played Lisa, a court stenographer who's having an affair with Detective Marty Hart, played by Woody Harrelson. The affair is tumultuous, to put it mildly. At one point, Marty attacks Lisa's new boyfriend in a jealous rage. The affair also leads to some tension in Marty's work relationship with his partner Rust Cole. Ultimately, Lisa tells Marty's wife Maggie the truth, which leads to her leaving him, although they later reconcile. One rather notable scene for Daddario in True Detective happens in the second episode, entitled Seeing Things, as she appears naked on screen while Lisa and Marty get intimate. As it turns out, this nude scene did more than just advance the plot, it also advanced Daddario's career. In a, July, in a July 2021 interview with Collider, Daddario reflected on her time on True Detective, including the reaction to that scene. As she recalled, Getting naked on a show where I didn't have a huge role, I didn't know what to expect. And then of course that episode aired and my manager calls me in the morning after the episode aired and she was like, the phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. The phone won't stop ringing. And all of a sudden, everyone in town wanted to meet with me. And then I booked San Andreas. Daddario also discussed the audition process for True Detective, during which the show's team expressed some interest in working with her, but for a different role. As she put it, I was like, well, they're vaguely interested, and I love these actors, and I love Carrie Fukunaga, and I want to be in this show, so let me force them to hire me. Daddario was so determined to land a part on True Detective because of how good it would look on her resume. But despite that intuition, she wasn't expecting the array of calls that her agent got after her nude scene aired. As she told Collider, it was tactical, but not that tactical. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, but to a degree that I I never would have mm -hmm. anticipated. Part of the reason that Daddario didn't expect such an enthusiastic response was because she hadn't been invited to True Detective's premiere, which she assumed was because her role was just too small. But that perspective changed in retrospect. As she explained, it was only afterwards when I was at the Emmys that I was like, wow, I'm a big enough part of this show to be invited to the Emmys on behalf of the show even though I'm not nominated. But it was just something that I don't think anybody expected, including myself. I really didn't expect people to have that reaction to that character the way that they did. True Detective may have played a crucial part in advancing Daddario's career, but she has, she has complicated feelings about the fan attention she's since received. As she told Men's Journal in 2022, I think that I hadn't been that aware of my sex appeal prior to that. I too seriously. I really love acting. In my heart, I'm just a theater nerd, and I sort of took that and said, this is good for my career, and embraced it. Daddario also noted that she takes most of the enduring buzz from True Detective in stride, though there can be downsides. As she put it, I really love what I do. I happen to have a lot of fun with getting dressed up and playing roles, and even on red carpets, I'm kind of playing a role. And it's great, it's fun, but I think it can be negative, some of the attention, and so I try to ignore some of the more negative aspects of it.